Hello and welcome to my first proper sit-down video in a new flat, everybody. So, yeah, welcome to my floor and my wallpaper. <laughs> so, yeah, let's try this out and let's see how this is going to go here. As you can see, to my right and to my left, I have some friends here already who are going to keep me company because today I'm basically making an update video and I'm also going to talk about my wish list for 2021. What or who am I still waiting for? I'm still waiting for my FIPO 60 Lucy Venn Magnolia Fox full set doll and she has been shipped out uh, prior to Christmas and the last update that I have of her was on December 21st. So that was when she basically arrived in California. And I really love to picture her, you know, sip, sipping a drink on the beach or whatever. <laughs> but uh, my guess is that she is stuck somewhere in transit, probably in a ship's container or yeah but it has been two full months now yeah it's not it's not the end of the world and every doll collector has to wait and then I also found a mini fee Lucy Van from a friend in Germany and she will arrive this week other than that I did send off my 10 mini fee Celine to Rakeru Sensei and I am also waiting for two tiny doll kits from Frapsilla. I did get a bloom in January and a little fox <laughs> in February. Those weren't planned at all, but they did take me by surprise. And I also love how affordable their doll kits are. Speaking of Repsilla, there are going to be so many beautiful doll releases this year. I am especially waiting for their Alula, their little mouse with the roses in the ears. She is so freaking freaking cute. Yeah, I'm going because you will have the option between body version number one, which is a bit curvier, and version two, which will also fit mini fit clothing. So I'm going to go for version two because I have way too many doll clothes. <laughs> now, when it comes to groove dolls, the doll I have on pre-order right now is Isur Pom Pom Purin who is also part of the Sanrio series, which I collect. I actually have one of my favorite pulips ever here. Woohoo! Little My Melody. She is so adorable. I am actually also eyeing pulip card captor Sakura. Since I've joined the pulip community, I know that people have been wanting a Cardcaptor Sakura Pulip for such a long time. I have always been more of a Sailor Moon fan because Cardcaptor Sakura wasn't a thing in the Austrian children's TV lineup, but I did enjoy watching the show on Netflix. Speaking of this year's releases or announcements, I feel like it's such a great time to be a pulip collector. So when you are still starting out, basically Pulip Sera will come back. I do have my original Sera here and I love this girl so, so much. She's one of the best pulip releases ever. She was a co collaboration with Mitsubachi at Baby B. So if you have the possibility to get her, please do. Talking about these cuties now. <laughs> okay, actually their wigs are kind of tickling my nose. Okay, so that's better. 
we are out of the alpaca danger zone. But they are so soft. Whee! So yeah, speaking of smart dolls, I have actually, as you can see, my two girls are actually anime style girls. And in the past, I thought that the semi-real smart dolls were very cute, but simply not for me. And then suddenly smart doll dimension popped out and oh my gosh, she's probably, I can see her becoming an instant classic because she's perfection. She's absolute perfection. And what also broke the internet was when Danny posted a picture of a little anime kitten smart doll and he is calling her meow girl for now. I think the dots on her cheeks are little kittens as well. It's, it's craziness. So we don't have more infos on her yet, but those two are super gorgeous. So this is Yuvia, my latest minifig Chloe. She has a face up by Poison Girl Dolls. And yeah, she's the intro <laughs> for Fairyland Dolls. I actually uh, felt pretty good about my Fairyland collection. I do love Minifi Alicia so much that I was thinking about maybe adding one in natural skin by the end of the year, but no rush, you know. And then Kim Sunhua released teaser pics for the upcoming spring event and oh my freaking god like that both dolls so far are Alice in Wonderland inspired which is hitting me hard <laughs> and especially because there was the announcement of a fairy line 60 girl and she's the white rabbit and I feel like her little nose looks like a rabbit. She is so adorable. We don't have names yet. I'm in real trouble. So when Fairyland is releasing teasers, the first thing I get are crabby hands and I immediately want everything. I actually just released a video about my Uplado Sia on this channel. She was my first artist PGD which I'm so happy about. And actually from Upla Dolls, I still hope to get a Lupita this year. And I also, because she also just released a picture one and a half weeks ago, about that time of a new sculpt called Yoon. And she's so pretty. So those two, are on my list and also speaking of more French artist BJDs so I would really love to get two dolls from Lily Cat Dolls. My favorite so far would be Chibilana because she looks so sweet and I would either love to get her in mint or in tan and I also love the little pulpy dolls. I feel like they have been huge fan favorites ever since the first release. Another artist whose dolls are so beautiful is Haru Casting from Korea and right now there is actually and also when I am going to publish this there is still a um, pre-order going on so basically right now you can choose between four dolls and it's also kind of a couple event so for example the doll who i absolutely love from this pre-order is called kyurim so we have kyurim who is i feel like it's her first pre-order ever and she is so beautiful those little teeth oh my god and she's a couple with modern and also there's another cutie caught my eye and i also feel like this is going to be her first pre-order ever 
and she's called More and then I also want I also want Maggi so <laughs> yeah and those are I think just the MSD girls that I like so so we're basically done so now I would really really love to hear from you guys which dolls are you planning to add to your collection this year? I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're safe and well. I am really, really thanking each and every one of you because we are slowly getting to 1000 subs on YouTube. And I am so looking forward to that because then I can finally have the community function. So I will finally be able to share more pictures and a little heads up and stuff. Thank you so, so much for watching and please like and subscribe, all that stuff. And I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.